everyone this is Jill from Paper Daisy Crafting thank you for joining me today super quick little video for me today I've got the wrong card on there there we go um, I'm going to be making this card um, very very quick and easy to make I showed you on the previous video how to make a sheet of pay of pattern paper using the floral essences stamp set which if I could find it I'd show you hidden under here there's the stamp the floral essences lovely lovely set beautiful flowers some some outline ones so you can color but these solid ones that I've used here are absolutely beautiful um I showed you how to do this on previous video what I've done is mark it on the back um, I'll put it on my blog, which will be linked to this video, um, this template, so you can see how to cut it up to make the, the pieces for your four cards. This is the first card we're going to make today. Super, super quick. So you need a card blank that measures 21 centimetres by 15, score it at 10 and a half or eight and a quarter by five and three quarters and score it at four and an eighth. In, that's in inches. Fold it over um, and then you're then going to cut your... Um, piece of um, patterned paper that you've made so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my mini trimmer and I'm going to trim off this end piece here first so I've marked all the places where I need to trim actually I'm going to turn it around just make sure so this piece is going to be five and a half centimeters wide my line I can see my lines aren't quite straight which is why I'm using my trimmer so they're not going to quite line up I did that very quickly this morning and then this piece here which is going to be five centimeters wide so I'll put it in there again and line it up again so this this strip is five centimeters and then we've got one piece that is six and one that should be end up being nine and a half so those are your four pieces for your one sheet wonder cards and the piece that we're going to need today is this piece so I'm going to put the others to one side and I'll come back another day and show you what I'm doing with those but I'm just going to take this panel and put it over there over there okay um, I know I've got a, I've got another piece of it looks like there's another piece of card underneath it but I'll show you my little trick I don't want to waste card so what I've started doing instead of doing um, matting and using the whole card I've just used ended up using tiny strips so this will go on there and it should be just a fraction longer than your card so you can still do what I tend to do which is trim off to make sure it's a very flush um, very flush um, what do I mean joint no side edge very 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 neat so you don't have any overlapping edges and you don't have anything falling short either um, there we go right okay and then I've got just got two thin little card strips that I'm going to put one there and one there and that's going to look like it was mounted so these are too long so I'll just trim them off a little bit don't need to glue the whole of them if I don't need them. So again, I'm making them slightly longer so I can trim them off nicely at the end. And this makes your card a little bit, a little bit less bulky as well. If you end up having three layers of card, which I did here, I had a whole panel here, um, just makes the card quite, quite bulky and quite stiff. And although I like a nice stiff card, I didn't want it quite that stiff. So this is a good way and it does preserve your, your card stock as well. So if you're like me and try to be a bit of a frugal crafter, um, you won't want to be using up more cardstock than you actually need. And, you know, in that card, there's a whole strip of cardstock that you can't actually see. So not much point, really. There we go. Oh, this is beautiful. I'm really loving this colour scheme. Um, there you go. You could have chosen the petal pink to do the outlining in. I quite like choosing the darker one. Um, but it's up to you. All sorts of lovely colour schemes you could do this in. I'm thinking Bermuda Bay and Coastal Cabana would be lovely. They're two of my favourite colours. Probably So Saffron and Daffodil Yellow maybe. Or maybe the lovely new yellow we've got coming. We've got a lovely new yellow called Bumblebee. Um, so maybe that would work as well right there we go so I told you it was going to be super quick today last thing I'm going to do is put a greeting on here now this one I put a little note because I know where that's going that one that is going to my mum just to say hi she's in a nursing home 
and but on this one this is going to be a happy birthday card for someone so I'm going to take the happy birthday from perennial birthday which is still available but won't be for much longer so if you like the two lovely birthday sentiments in that one a really big one and uh, a smaller one so if you and this one so if you like them and it's also got some lovely flowers as well. It's a very versatile set. So if you like that set, don't forget to buy it now because it won't be available. One thing to note is that when Stampin' Up! refill their clearance rack, they never put stamp sets on there. They put dies, they put ribbons, they put paper, they put cardstock. They never put card um, stamp sets on there. So if you want stamp sets and they're um, going to be retired, you need to get them now. And so I'm just going to line that up and hope that it's straight as I'm st stamping straight onto the card there. Lovely. That's my card finished. Beautiful. OK, um, actually, I'm saying that's my card finished. It's not quite. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the smaller flower. And I'm hoping I can find my granite. Oh, there's my granite. Gray. Yeah grey granite rather than granite grey. I'm just going to do my stamping in the middle, in the centre here as well, which I did on this card. I think I showed you. So on this one, I just did a little um, flower there. So I'm just going to do that as well on this one so that it's all done. So stamp there. And then find the centre. Need the right one. Still got all these letters. Um, mounted up on blocks i need to take them off really there we go so just do the, the gray center so this is exactly like what we were doing on the patterned paper yesterday so look back at that video if you want to see and then the leaves oh what colors did i do the leaves in oh i pair pizzazz i think didn't i um what have i done with my desk is such a mess good job you can't see it honestly um so pear pizzazz Um, where am I? So just a couple of leaves here just to finish this off. And then it's just nice in the set in, in the middle of the card as well. And I would also do an envelope. I'm not going to do that on camera today. Um, I'm rather late today to do all the other things that I need to do. So, um, and I'm going to take my soft sea foam. I'm going to take my marker this time because the blends do tend to go through. Um, so I don't want it to go through to the back of this card. So as I'm stamping straight onto the card, I'm just going to take my marker and finish colouring that leaf. Like I said before, it didn't really matter because um, I wasn't using the blends as blends, really. I wasn't blending any colours. There. And there we have it. One very, very quick little card. Um, beautiful colours. Like that colour scheme. Also like this colour scheme. Don't know which is your favourite. Um, very, very easy to make. I'll be back again another day to make another one of my um, cards. Um, here they all are. Here are the others that I made. We'll be back again to make those another day. So do join me then. Till then, don't forget to look at the last chance list um, on the Stampin' Up! on my Stampin' Up! shop because there's lots of products that won't be available after the 2nd of June. And also, don't forget to check my blog out. If you go down, the link is there. And you can see my buy one, get one free sale. I'm, I'm selling all of my retired products. For every one you buy, you can choose another product absolutely free. So do go and have a look on my blog. It's in the on the top Um top um list of tabs on my blog so do go and click over there and have a look right that's it from me today thanks very much for watching and i'll be back soon bye